In this video, I will show you five real production AI agents that we built in our AI agency for our own clients. These are real production use cases that you will not find anywhere else. Sure, they might not sound as exciting as 20 agents doing one thing or as any other hypothetical examples you see here on YouTube, but the thing is they actually work. They automate our clients' most complex processes, saving them time, money, increasing profits, and ultimately allowing them to scale. Before we get started, quickly about me. My name is Arseny, and we were one of the first AI agencies to start building AI agents under the new Agents as a Service model. On this channel, I am sharing our entire journey with you, our tools, and everything else completely for free. We are also constantly hiring new people, including interns. So feel free to apply to work with us using the link below if you're interested. Now let's get straight to the agent use cases. Agent number one, Facebook marketing agent. This agent was made for a company called CareUp, a Dutch online learning platform for nursing and healthcare. CareUp offers interactive VR AR simulations so nursing professionals and students can practice in a realistic virtual setting. The company wanted to expand globally but struggled to scale. Tasks like content creation and Facebook ads management took too much time and required a lot of expertise. Our solution was a team of four specialized agents called an agency where at the top we have the social media manager agent that oversees everything and coordinates the team, the content writer agent that crafts engaging posts and ad copy, the image generator agent that produces on-brand visuals, and the Facebook manager agent who handles the campaigns, optimizes ads, and shares performance insights. We also added a human review step in Notion so that our client can approve the ad sets before they go live. Then a simple make automation posts the approved content to Facebook. This agency reduces manual workload by at least 80 to 90% because instead of working directly with super complex Facebook ads manager, the team just has to send a message to this agent in Slack, like chatting with a real coworker, and that's it. So let's see how it works. For this demo, we set up a separate account so we wouldn't mess with the client's campaigns. And here, Nick, our project manager, is asking the agent to create a Facebook ad for a free four-week demo of the VR AR nursing simulation. Immediately, the social media manager agent kicks in, prompting the content writer agent to generate multiple ideas. All we need to do from here is just pick one of the suggested concepts. Then the content writer agent just the copy for us so we can work on it together and collaborate with this agent before approving it. And once approved, the image generator agent then suggests four visuals that align with the campaign theme and CareUp's brand. So let's pick an image number one and then as you can see the agent asks us for the ad set details so we're just going to say that we want to create a new ad we can now see this nursing vr ar campaign and ad set directly in notion as well as the ad itself here a human in the loop reviews everything and once all of the changes are approved a simple make automation alerts the Facebook manager agent and this agent then launches the ad set directly in the client's Facebook ad account. You can now see this ad posted in Facebook ads manager. After the campaign was launched, we can also even analyze its performance using the same agency. For example, we can ask it to list all active ad campaigns. We can ask it like how much we've spent on a particular campaign in the last two months, or we can even ask it what are the most popular ad sets sorted by impressions. Lastly, let's test something more complex. Let's ask what's the average age of our audience per campaign and what recommendations can we get based on that data? As you can see, the agent has now generated a detailed breakdown of our audience per campaign along with the insights and tips on how to improve the performance. 
You can only imagine how powerful this is because all I need to do from here is just tell this agent to implement some of these improvements. So this creates a really powerful feedback loop where the user can constantly chat with this agent and then improve the ads further and further every time. The key takeaway that we learned from this project is that a human review step is crucial for any mission critical agents, especially if you are just fine tuning them. The client was at first really cautious, understandably about the agent spending $10,000 on a less than perfect campaign. So the notion database helps the entire team to review all of the ads together before launching them on Facebook. After some time, once the agent is fully trained, you can simply remove this human in a loop step. And for those who watched my previous video, while this agent started as a custom made solution, which means we build it specifically for CareApp's unique process, we're now evolving it into a vertical AI agent using the same roadmap I presented to you in that video. Because we've built several similar Facebook ad marketing agents for multiple clients, we've noticed clear patterns and similarities between them. So the next step for us is to productize this agent and make it easily reusable across any number of businesses. This will obviously make it much more scalable and it will even allow us to charge a very unique pricing, like for example, a fixed price per lead. As for the cost of the functionality shown in the demo, they're only about $1.02, including image generation. Agent number two, DNS support agent. This agent was built for Ali AI, an AI-powered CEO automation platform. They offer a website speed optimizer feature that requires precise DNS configurations, something that many users struggle with. A single mistake here can take your entire website down and their customer support team was literally flooded in support tickets. The solution was a specialized DNS support agent that acts like a virtual network engineer. It has been trained on all major DNS registers documentations like GoDaddy, Namecheap, Cloudflare and others, so it knows exactly how to navigate and troubleshoot any issues. But that's not all, it can even analyze your current DNS setup using 10 specialized tools and tell you exactly what you did wrong and guide you step by step how to fix it. So it doesn't just answer customer support tickets based on all this documentation, it tells you exactly what you did wrong and what you need to do next to fix this. So the result was that Alice customer support workload was reduced by over 80% for similar tickets. Now, let's see it in action. In production, this agent is actually integrated into our client's intercom, but for this demo, we'll test it on Agency AI, which is our SaaS platform. So let's type something like, help me solve a DNS issue with this domain. Right now, behind the scenes, the agent is choosing from 10 different tools that can analyze literally everything, and then we get a response. The agent spots the missing DNS records and gives me step-by-step -step detailed instructions for my DNS provider to migrate to Ali's AI name service. And this is a video on how it looks like in production. As you can see there, instead of answering to me in chat, it actually answers directly to the new customer support ticket where it's integrated via Intercom's API. The key takeaway from building this agent was that by combining knowledge and actions together, you can achieve significantly higher performance compared to using either the knowledge or the actions alone. Because this agent can check your current setup, it can search and output only the most relevant parts of documentation that are required for your unique situation. And the final cost for running this agent is extremely low, only about eight cents per request. Agent number three, Questionnaire Agent. This agent was developed for a UK and France based sustainability consultancy with over 25 years of experience in this field. They help major European companies manage carbon emissions and reporting. However, this company chose to remain anonymous for the purpose of this case study. 
The questionnaires are extremely complex where each questionnaire contains over 130 questions and over 300 pages of documentation for the scoring rubric. The process required up to three days for their employees to complete manually. The solution was an AI agent that parses the word files, finds the right questions and applies all of the correct scoring rubrics all in one go. Instead of three days, now this entire process runs in about 20 minutes. So let's see it in action. Let's open the app and upload the Excel template and the word file. Then we simply tell the agent to start the process. First, it processes that huge questionnaire stored in a Microsoft Word document, breaking it down into chapters, and then it starts scoring each of these chapters iteratively, as you see down here in the radio output, one after another. About 13 minutes later, we now have a fully scored Excel file with every module filled out in the correct order. So let me show you the result. I think we'll probably have to blur this, unfortunately, but as you can see, this Excel workbook is extremely complex. It has multiple tabs. There are 13 large tables and some of them have hundreds of rows. I hope this gives you some idea of what you can do because honestly, these form fill out agents are extremely frequent across a variety of businesses. Like for example, if you're working with an e-com store, you're most definitely going to require one of these agents. And the key takeaway from this project is that running an agent is almost always dramatically cheaper than performing the same process manually. What would cost an employee more than $300 to do in three days now costs between one and a half and two and a half dollars and can be done in about 13 minutes. As you can see, the savings are so huge that even the choice between models like OpenAI or DeepSeek makes no difference whatsoever. Agent number four, Jack. This is a vertical AI agent startup focused on simplifying home maintenance and repair. If you don't know what the heck vertical AI agents are, please make sure to watch my previous video till the very end. I shared literally everything you need to know. This agent aims to streamline the time consuming process of providing home repair estimates to home owners. Previously, this process involved manual requirement gathering and complex calculations based on varying material and labor costs across the United States. Now, this agent autonomously engages homeowners through a convenient chat interface where it's asking all the right questions and then using the O1 mini reasoning model to retrieve the relevant pricing data from the client's estimates database. By the way, it also has a pretty complex pipeline where we process all of the incoming data and the costs and then store them in this vector database on Firestore. As a result, this agent reduces administrative overhead by up to 90%, allowing companies that specialize in home repairs to focus on their service and not on paper work. Now, let's see it in action. In production, this agent is integrated with SendBird, so you can chat with it in any channels like WhatsApp or SMS. However, for this demo, we'll open it in a local interface. I'll type in a simple question. My dishwasher is leaking. How much would it cost to fix it? Obviously, we need a bit more details so the agent doesn't just jump into conclusions. Instead, it asks me for these details first. After I answer these questions, this agent then generates a repair estimate based on similar cases from its vector database. As you can see in total, this repair should cost around $170. The key takeaway is to ensure that the agent gathers all the necessary information before searching for knowledge or using any tools rather than just jumps straight into conclusions. By prompting your agent to first ask for all of the necessary details, you can significantly improve its performance and user experience. And the costs are pretty low on average, it's about 10 cents per estimate. And the final AI agent is a CO reporter agency also made for a platform Ali AI. Another problem that their users encountered was that manually pulling data from multiple sources like Google Analytics was time consuming and highly error prone. The solution was a team of AI agents that has this unique structure that's only possible to create with our framework Agency Swarm 
where the CEO agent is connected to three other agents that are also connected to one another. The result is that the reports are now generated in minutes instead of hours of manual work and with much less errors. So let's see how it actually works. First, I'll open the Gradio app. Now, let me say that we need data from November 2nd to November 29th, 2024. The CEO agent then communicates with the data integration agent to pull the key metrics from Google Analytics and Search Console. Overall, it processed about 5,000 rows in total. Next, let's ask some more insights like what's the trend in user traffic over time? As you can see, the agents keep collaborating together and then they return the key metrics like users, sessions and revenue. But what makes this agent truly powerful is its capability to create graphs and visual comparisons based on this data. So let me show you how it works. Let me ask the CEO to create a chart comparing new versus total users. The CEO then communicates with the report builder agent who then generates and displays these graphs for us below. Amazing. Finally, let me tell it to create PDF and Excel reports for this data with these charts. As you can see, the agent keeps working on the report, generating more charts and insights for the selected dates. Once that's done, the PDF gets uploaded directly to Google Drive. So now let's check the results. As you can see, the provided link has two files. One is technical, packed with numbers for reference, and the other is a polished PDF report that contains previously generated charts, tables, and insights designed for easier sharing. The key takeaway from this project is that your agents need to be adaptable based on feedback. If you simply provided this agent with a tool that just generates reports, it wouldn't be much different from a simple AI automation running on its own. However, because the user can collaborate with this agent and provide it with some feedback, the generated reports are far more relevant and far more valuable to this user. And the cost for one such report is about 12 cents. In conclusion, as you can see, most of these agents are highly specialized for each specific customer. So none of them right now can really be reused across multiple businesses. And for those, again, who watched my previous video till the very end, these agents are called horizontal agents, meaning that they can't be reused across multiple businesses. So it's always a good idea for you to start from horizontal agents because by doing so, you gain valuable insights. After you've built a few of such agents, like for example, how we did with the Facebook marketing agent in the beginning, you will find what you can then productize and turn into a more scalable vertical solution. So again, make sure to check out my previous video. It's incredibly valuable. And if you're interested in working with us, I'll leave a link to apply in the description. Thank you for watching until the end and don't forget to subscribe.